And how's it going everyone? This is Splattercat with episode 6 of our LP of Tropico 4. Um, hopefully, I've been having just ridiculous technical difficulties with this game. Um, it really does not like Fraps, it doesn't like D3D, it doesn't like really any type of video, video rendering software. It just hates it. It hates them all. So I've been playing around with some options, but I can't guarantee this is still going to continue to be smooth. Um, there seems to be some limitation within the engine that when it switches days, it seems to just really freak the hell out. Um, Great calamity, Presidente. All of my wife's birthdays are coming, and they want presents. That sounds like a personal problem, man. You gotta keep your game tighter. So we have tons of money right now, which is really kind of the benefit of everything we just sold. So I would like to go to infrastructure here. And I don't know... Let me see if there's an overlay for wind. I would like to find an overlay for wind, because if we can... Let's see... I'm not seeing an overlay. Crop conditions isn't going to be it. I thought there was an overlay you could do for wind that would let you know where you can put wind turbines, but I don't know. We'll just build an old-fashioned uh, power plant for now, and we'll deal with cleaner solutions later. So this is going to eat up a large amount of our fiscal budget for now, but I'm not that concerned with it. Um, we do have a lot of money. We had $33,000. And actually, pretty soon, the secondary goal of the game is to skim as much money off the top as you can so that when you retire, you have a Swiss bank account. Um, and we're going to start doing that pretty soon. We have yet to order any edicts because I don't really have a ministry set up. Morning, Presidente. Do you remember the promise you made last night? During our tutoring session? Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> Miss Pineapple's getting work done. She is a... Uh... <laughs> She is definitely... She's getting some diplomacy done for her faction. Um, meh, the, the intellectuals already like me. I don't care. I'll build one later. Um, let's see. All of our... Most of our shanties are gone now from our little farming community. I think with the extra money that I have, I am going to build another tenement. Just to make sure that we're taken care of in that regard. And then with all the people we have, I think I am going to build another garage, specifically for people that are just up in this little kind of area, um, our little farming area. I kind of want to build another dock for exports here, but I don't want to I don't want to spread myself too thin, because the dock to the south is going to suffer if I do that. Um, more exports are going to go here. This one's going to become more useless. So for now, until I have something else that I'm moving over this way, I would like to keep it how it is. We did build this road to our touristy area. I'm going to wait until we get a little more money until we start catering to tourists. I really... We do have a beautiful island. Our beauty is pretty much dark green all the way over the entire island, which means we're set up to make a lot of money from tourism, which is then going to make us just expand and grow and be super awesome. I would prefer that our island not be like Jamaica or a lot of Caribbean islands where it's like one little sandals area and then a giant ghetto the rest of the area. I want it to be like, uh... Well... I don't know, I haven't been to that many Caribbean islands, so I can't really tell you, but I would like us to actually be a first world country. I do feel an obligation as El Presidente to make that work. I thought that was El Presidente for a minute, but it's just a crow. <laughs> Bad eyesight. So, we did. We may lose citizens from bad health care, which is making me a little nervous. We have no one working at this garage. What is our employment situation right now? We have 15 job positions, which is good. That means the next time we get immigrants, they're all going to go straight into being employed. Hola. I am seeing sick children, though, and nothing makes people angrier than sick children. The last thing we need is National Geographic putting some pot-bellied children on the front of their magazine, making us look bad. So hopefully people will go get medical care. We only have one doctor. I think I am going to go ahead and import another doctor. And I don't even know if this clinic up here... This clinic has people working at it. And the fact that we are starting to get jobs that require educated workers, college educated workers. Oh my, why are our imports so low? That's terrifying. 
hopefully these trucks that are coming in solve the situation because our our exports are really really low right now and I don't know why and there's a freighter coming in like right now um, sometimes the export schedules overlap strangely and this happens where you have a long period of no poor healthcare was responsible for three deaths well you know I've got clinics it's the best I can do for now Hopefully, we get at least some exporting done, because I don't like playing our our yearly budget this close to the chest. This is a... We're barely a hair over the line. I'm not sure we'll make it to the next export schedule if we mess this up. Where's the freighter at? It's right there. Okay, so we've got a little bit of time. $4,000. Hopefully this truck is coming here. And we'll keep an eye on our exports for now because that is making me a tad nervous. You'll also, sometimes trucks go in here and they aren't increasing our export revenues, which makes me wonder if they're just like a graphical helper, but not a real indicator. Um, trucks are going in, but our export revenues are not going up. Maybe it's the colors of the truck that affect that. I don't know. Oh, five grand will keep us in the black for now, but it's not the kind of money that I was hoping for. We did just build a power station, so we can expect to be broke for a little bit. We should get financial aid pretty soon from our neighbor states. One thing that I would like to see in future Tropicos is being able to place your island. It would be cool to be able to place your island in the Caribbean where you want and have it actually affect politics a little more, but maybe we'll see that in Tropico 5. We got a foreign expert, which is the guy we ordered. Um, we're not exporting a whole lot during this phase. So we are going to have to kind of keep it tight and just not spend a lot of money for now. It says El Pre uh, Presidente is here. I don't see him though. He's probably hiding behind the building or something. We do have some shanties, which are being occupied by... People that are actually on salary, so... Presidente, why do we cut the trees? Trees are our friends. Do you slaughter your friends? It depends if they want my job. As El Presidente, why is there a red dot over here? Huh. Oh, it's a building that's not completed. Herbadoop! Okay, so we have our power plant now, and so we definitely want to start doing power substations, which are kind of cheap. We'll put one right here. They do lower the beauty of wherever they are, though, so if you're going to have a touristy area, you kind of have to hide them. Um, we just exported a... well, I guess that was our total export, so... We're going to have to live by our means for right now. We do have some building projects going, and we're not necessarily bringing in enough money... Um, I think I got a little bit ahead of myself when I saw that 36,000 down there and built a little bit too much, but we'll ride it out. It'll be okay. We'll take this opportunity to kind of eyeball and see. I'm going to fast forward a little bit because we don't have a whole lot going on. Once this tenement is built, that should alleviate our housing problems up here in our farming area. Um, we do need to get some more bourgeois and some more upper class housing because that filled up really quickly. And we do, if you look at the people that are living in your shacks, well, she actually moved out just now, so I don't know. She probably did that just to make me look dumb. She saw the clicker coming, and she was like, I'm going to make El Presidente look stupid. Um, we just got our financial aid, so that puts us in a little bit better of a situation. And our next export is ten grand, so that's going to give us some extra money. Well, Venerable leader, some mighty Chinese dragon has a request for you. <laughs> I like that's vaguely racist, the Bucktooth Chinaman. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna comment on it for too long. But uh, oh, good, a seasonal shift. That's just what I was hoping for right now. It also seems to be vaguely related to opening menus. The game doesn't really seem to like it when you open menus during seasonal shifts. Are you gonna do it to me again? All right. So. We don't need any of that stuff. We do need, however, education. We do need a college. So I would like to see, hopefully the college fits right there. It does, fantastic, that makes me happy. And we're dealing with frame rate issues as always because it's changing seasons on us. I think we're going from, from spring to summer maybe. 
so we'll see what happens. I found that it's best just kind of center the camera when this happens. So because Calypso is not a major development studio, there are these little foibles here and there. It also may be related to all these shadows moving and things, I don't know. Alright, so we have our college being built, which is really the next major milestone for our people. This means we can start producing college educated people, college graduates, people with degrees that can actually basically just man our different positions in society because of their qualifications. Um, for now though, I'm just going to kind of eyeball and watch our progress. And I really loathe to kill the shadows if that's what are calling or causing this, but we'll see what happens for future videos. It is an issue between Fraps and Tropico because this literally never happens in single player. You can run at 180 frames all day, but dropping from 180 to 1 frame is definitely an issue. We got three more immigrants now, and see? Lickety split, it just vanishes. Who knows what causes it? It seems to always happen between the summer and the fall, though. Basically the summer period, I don't know. So our substation is built, and we can look at the coverage of our grid. Our, the coverage of our grid is good for now, which means we can actually start catering to higher needs. Terrible news, Presidente. One of your citizens is openly criticizing you. This outrage must not go on. Such people belong behind bars. The Loyalists don't make up a substantial part of our population, so I'm going to dismiss that request. Um, the Intellectuals, however, do. So, we're going to wait for our next little crop of cash at the moment. Otherwise, we're just not going to make it. I think this is where I'm going to cut off Episode 6. Thank you for watching. My name is Splattercat, and if you enjoyed the videos, please do like, subscribe, and or comment. It does help me keep creating these videos. And I hope you've enjoyed this gameplay of Tropico 4, and I will see you in Episode 7.